This is what Earth's gravity feels like. Such a one-sided battle. I'm a coward. Where is Lieutenant Quattro? Jaburo's defense forces? This is like wholesale slaughter. Look, Camille, I'm sure the defense forces are just hiding and they'll show up very soon. We got the skill customized, which increases the effect of all items, including health pickup, so that's insanely useful. We only got one part to equip, but that should be enough for now. Also, there's virtually no enemies on the field, as, uh, as Camille pointed out. Victory conditions don't let Quattro die, got it. So this is what Earth's gravity feels like! Where is the Gundam Mark II? I swear to God, I am gonna avenge Kakrakon! So, this is Jabura. Well, well, nice to meet ya! Hey Jared, I see you're back in the same mobile suit and you're using the same tactics as before. I'm sure this can only go one way. What's the matter? This is Earth. We should have an advantage over the AU. Looks like one of our buddies finally landed, and after we take out this crowd of enemies, we'll go and help him out. So man, this is kinda weird, isn't it? We just saw Jabro, but last time we were defending it. This time we're on the offensive. Which means that, you know, our main goal is up there. When this is finished, I'll have to retune the Rick Diaz for use under gravity. So for this mission, when we take enemy fields outside the base, they don't turn blue, they just disappear. Because the enemy just goes away. Which that may seem a little bit suspicious, but we're probably thinking too hard about it. I'm gonna bury this nest of moles. Out of my way! Come on! It's been a while since I felt real gravity. I've got a visual on several defense installations. All units who have made planet fall, head for them. Where are you, Camille? If you're alive, answer me. After we take out the defense station that Quattro is at, the rest of the defense stations will fall on their own. But we're gonna help Emma real quick anyway, just because we're nice. And you know, we want those experience points. So yeah, the defenses here are absolutely pitiful. They must have something in store for us inside the base. Because it may seem like this would be challenging with all your allies spread so far apart, but really it's not, and they could probably take these defense stations all on their own. We're not even trying to sneak in through the water conduits like Char was, we're just bashing our way through. There's only, there's only been 50 enemies per each field as well. Happily, we'll be fine. Like I said, after we take this field, the rest of them just vanish. Let's go. There should be a first line of defense. The gates to the base core are closed, as one might expect, but taking over one of the fields next to them should open them right up. There are some enemy mobile suits wandering around in between the fields that may get your allies stuck, but if you slice through them, that should make it easier for your friends. Man, still only 50 per field. Something, something's definitely weird here. But oh well, you know, it's not like we can go back or anything. 
And the only enemy ace we've seen so far is Jared. Normally I would talk about the tactics involved in taking over the base core, but there's really no need for tactics right now, is there? But hey, whatever guys, it's your base, you do whatever you like. Strange. Jabiro is hardly putting up a fight. It seems I'll need to extract an explanation from the enemy. as if nobody were home. Just a scratch! Did they really think such a weak defense network would save them? As was already said, Camille gets really pissed at people throwing their lives away. So it said Roberto was in trouble. But really, after we take the base core, everything else will be fine. Because what are they going to do after we take the base core? Nothing. Quattro is supposed to be making his way here as well, but he has a habit of getting caught up on some of the enemies. Not that he necessarily has trouble with them, but whenever he runs into a squad of enemies, he just has to fight them on the way here. Maybe he keeps trying to interrogate people, but accidentally kills them before he can finish. I'm sure he'll get it right one of these times. I mean, his help would be appreciated, though. Listen, Quattro, I was literally just talking about how you were doing fine. And you have to go and get yourself beat up. What is with you guys? I guess they're doing this to create a sense of tension, so you'll hurry up and take the base core faster. But really, there's no reason to rush. Everyone will be fine. I haven't really talked about the Mark II's Muso attack yet, have I? It's equally useful against groups of enemies and against single enemies. It's it's uh, pretty much all-purpose, which I approve of. That's not to say it's incredibly strong, but at least you won't find yourself flailing at the air. Which, uh, that will happen later in this story mode, I'm sure. So that's how you want to play, is it? All forces, do you read me? I've extracted some intelligence from a captured officer. The installation's nuclear weapons have been rigged to explode. It looks like we've been tricked. All units, evacuate to the Aldumla, now! risk your life for nothing! What? Is it caving in? The corridor's blocked! Jabaro is big. There's got to be another way out. Here it comes! to settle this listen Jared buddy you picked a really bad time some nuclear weapons are about to go off and I need to get my allies out of this cave system so if you could just hold on a bit 15 minutes might seem a bit excessive for the time limit but really it's not because you need to get all of your allies out of here and in order to do that you need to destroy the fields that they're trapped inside the first order of business is to help these two fellows I've marked. I believe they're Apolli and Emma. Quattro is safe for now since we helped him out, but he'll run into more trouble later. So we need to help Apolli and Emma as quickly as we can. After you free Apolli and Emma from their fields, sorry, from the enemy fields they're trapped inside, they will immediately head toward the Adumla and escape, and they won't get caught along the way unlike before. 
they'll pretty much teleport straight to the Adumla without any issues. And thankfully, I believe that all of the fields during this phase of the mission are just uh, 50 enemies big, just like they were before. Of course, this time you have a time limit, though. They're trying to destroy the Odunla? Don't you realize your lives are in danger? Yep, just like I said, Quattro gets himself in trouble again, so we need to hurry up and rescue Emma and then rush down there. However, after we do rescue Quattro, he too will teleport straight to the Adumla. So all we really need to worry about is getting there in time. And don't try to just rush to the Adumla by yourself, because if you leave Quattro alone, he will die. And as we discussed at the very beginning of this mission, if Quattro dies, that's a game over. Another pointless death! So now all we have to worry about is saving Quattro and then getting to the Adumla before Jared fucks it up. As was discussed in the very first mission of this story, the main thing you're going to be doing with Camille is rushing from place to place to rescue your allies. That's not going to change very much. And if this seems slightly more active than before, trust me, it ramps up. The final mission of this story is kinda nuts. I'm hit? Now, if you wanted to, you could have left Emma and Appley alone, and even if they got shot down, they would have been fine. But that's no way to play the game now, is it? Unfortunately, if you do bother to rescue Appley and Emma, the Adumla is going to be taking a beating while you come down here to rescue Quattro later. And I'm talking, by the time we get to the Adumla, it's going to be on its very last legs. That was the cooperative Musou attack I was talking about earlier. Very useful. So after we rescue Quattro, he'll go to the Adumla, but he won't get inside of it. He'll stay outside of it and try to fend off Jared. Which is useful, because it's quite a trek to there. It's quite a trek for us, I mean. Again, Quattro just teleports there. Camille is the only person who seems to have to worry about this whole walking thing during this phase. With Quattro down there by the Adumla, he'll be able to buy us some time, but not that much time. Like I said, by the time we get down there, the Adumla is going to be on its last legs. So, you know, we better book it. We still have a whole 10 minutes left, but uh, the time limits in Dynasty Warriors games, even the licensed ones, are always kind of lenient, aren't they? Alright, we're here. Nobody go dying just yet. We're here. Jared is exactly as easy as he was the other times. He seems to have more health this time around, though. Thankfully, to balance that out, we have Lieutenant Quattro fighting right beside us. <sighs> if only Kakricon were here, things wouldn't have come to this. Right. I'm going! Can I make it? <laughs> 